Since the death of Jordan Manners in 2007, there has been a great effort on behalf of the Toronto Police and the TDSP to prevent future crimes in the future. Based on a study made by the Toronto Observer, there has been a suggested increase in lockdowns in 2014. So, how do the police feel about this and do parents and kids feel really safe? Now when uh, there's a lockdown, who decides when the school <clears throat> goes on lockdowns? Lockdowns, lockdowns is solely, when, when a school goes into lockdown, that is a decision made by the principal or the school board. We, uh, the Toronto Police, will attend the school and say, look, you've, we've got a serious situation. We suggest you do one or the other, lockdown or hold and secure or shelter in place. The decision to do that is, is made by the principal and he's, he or she's gonna make that decision based on their resources, do they have enough teachers to do it, uh, time of day, there'll be many different things that'll, that'll go into that decision. I believe that we work very well with our principals and teachers. So when the police come to school and tell the principal that there's a danger, I, I can't imagine somebody not wanting to protect the children and locking down their school. But at the end of the day, it is their decision, not ours. Some of the ways in which the police are trying to increase and implement safeties in school is through a program called School Resource Officer Program. While some students do feel safe with officers walking around their school, others do feel intimidated. It made me more scared, actually. Why? I was like, oh my god, like, what? Like, I was a kid, right? So it's like, fear kind of grows. Yeah, I would see how it would make you feel more safe, but not really. It didn't make you feel safer. Yeah. I feel a lot more comfortable, I guess, but still kind of uncomfortable for those who are, I don't know, because it's kind of uncomfortable for students to be around a police officer. Why? They're always like, like cautious of what they're doing. Yes. I don't know. Like, you know, if you're at the security guard, like it's automatically you're like, even though you did nothing wrong. <laughs> Our kids are scared of police and I, I actually think that society as a whole is a little bit to blame for that. Uh, the, the police are there to help the kids. We're not, we're not there to harm them. If, uh, if they're in trouble, I'm coming. I'm coming to help them. Uh, regardless of what's uh, what's in my way. This is a different um, time. It's not like when we used to go to school. We mm. used to live good as kids, like discipline in the homes mm. with parents. We used to have that. So I think we need security then in school, more mm -hmm. security in school. This is Andrea Preciado, Toronto Observer News.